everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Habib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what he can do. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think you get a kickboxing match tonight? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This approach fight in paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. It looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Edwards. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the And both guys really throwing with a four. 
Enough to take down, no problem. Good stick. Big hook. and he went back to it there and Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Left hand punch to the clinch. A couple of uppercuts there for good measure. That knee might have landed there. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh! He's done. He's hurt bad. Ooh, what a punch. Nurmago Medov gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You've got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. you got to check these low leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target. Double leg. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Buckle up, here we go. Round two, Habib Nurmagomedov versus Leon Edwards. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Habib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. And there comes the separation now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, man, look at that. Victor All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Edwards. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Just over three minutes now to go. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there right now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is!
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.